I grew up in a beautiful setting in Western Norway. We could see 95 mountain peaks from our home across the ocean, across the fjord that we lived nearby. And uh, the fjord itself, just beautiful. Everything was beautiful, but I had this longing to travel, to see the world. And I didn't really appreciate what I had until tourists came to our area from around the world, from the United States, from Europe. Uh, and they were just wowed by, by the view, by the picturesque environment. You know, it's hard to be content with what you have, isn't it, at times? Let me talk about uh, possessions, for example. In our rush to acquire possessions, do we ever stop to ask ourselves when enough is enough? God's word tells us that when God meets all the basic necessities of life, contentment should follow. That should be enough. So be thankful, right? Well, this is often easier said than done. The Apostle Paul says uh, in Philippians 4, 11, and 12, I am not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secrets of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, he says. In other words, the Apostle Paul understood he could be content with little and he could be content with much. Contentment doesn't mean that you are indifferent to your circumstances. It means that you are not controlled by your circumstances. Contentment is about moving from anger to peace, from frustration to satisfaction, from anxiety to trust. The Apostle Paul says that he learned the secret of contentment. And so can you and I. Let's learn to follow his example. Because material things will come and go, but a relationship with God through Jesus Christ is eternal. So ask God to help you align your priorities. For when you focus on your relationship with God, contentment is one of the many byproducts of that relationship. This is just a thought, and I'm Peter Dragget, pastor of Three Angels and Newton Seventh-day Adventist Churches in South Central Kansas. As long as the basic necessities of life are being met, be thankful. All things over and above are just extra blessings. Have a wonderful and blessed day.